Once upon a time in New Zealand, there was an economist, a physicist, a lawyer, a sociologist, and a consumer psychologist. They were trying to understand why people got locked into certain patterns of behaviour in their energy use, even when it seemed logical to change. But each of their disciplines had a different explanation for this, so they developed a model that made sense to all of them. And it said people develop a distinctive energy culture from the interactions between their norms, what they think is normal or appropriate, their material culture, their technologies and infrastructure, and their energy practices, what they do that uses energy. And these things became self-reinforcing and they were also influenced by exterior forces like regulations and energy price. And they called this model the energy cultures framework. And gradually, even though it was first just meant to help them work together, they realised that the model could help them understand why people behaved the ways they did, and how to help them change behaviour. First they applied it to household heating behaviour, then to all energy behaviour in households in New Zealand, and they found clusters of quite distinctive energy cultures. Now they're using the model to help understand how transport systems are changing, to understand the energy culture of growing businesses, and to compare New Zealand's energy culture to other countries. And to their surprise, people all over the world thought the model was really helpful, and so the energy cultures framework became quite a new way of thinking about behaviour and change. And the energy cultures team grew to include many more disciplines, like philosophy, geography, IT, politics, education and more. Now the team is working with people all around the world to test and apply the model. So stay tuned to see many more advances from the Energy Cultures team.